engineer, the creator is in backbone of every startup. We've had our fair share of challenges in finding and retaining engineers over the years. Hi, my name is Steve Jagger and I'm one of the co-founders of Payroll Hero. Payroll Hero is a time, attendance, scheduling, and payroll app that we built to solve a need for Southeast Asia. Over the last year and a half, we've been working to build out the platform and expand our team. Like most startups, we've had trouble finding engineers. It started in the Philippines. We were working to recruit engineers. We would bring them in from anywhere we could, but overall it was a hard sell and we had minimal success. We did find Suman. He's from India and was working in Vietnam at the time. He is always up for an adventure and joined our team and began working out of our Manila office. But we had trouble finding more. Mike Stevenson, the CEO of Payroll Hero, suggested we switch gears and work to find a way to use our strengths as our advantage. Our business was focused on Southeast Asia. There was lots of travel happening and we knew we wanted to open a North American office to continue expanding our team. We could use these aspects of our business as an advantage to attract talent. This is where the idea and the term adventure engineer was born. We thought we could attract engineers to us who wanted to work hard and play hard. People who were interested in the outdoors, travel, adventure, being healthy, and working hard. We set up an engineering office in Whistler, Canada's premier ski village, as a way to differentiate us from the crowd. Vancouver, Canada's eighth largest city, is just an hour drive away, and being on the west coast positions well with Silicon Valley. Facebook just announced a 250 head engineering office downtown Vancouver, Twitter 150, as well as a few others. Plus there's big local players like Hootsuite and Build Direct that already call Vancouver home. Whistler seemed like a perfect fit. We set out to create an adventure engineering offering and work to use our assets as our advantage. What is adventure engineering? Well, flex schedules, conferences, travel, education, adventures. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, meet Dane. Dane is from Australia and is an adventure engineer with lots of experience in Australia in the software world. He had moved to Whistler to ski for the winter and was working a regular job when he was not on the mountain. Dane saw an article about payroll here on the local paper and came and applied for an engineering job. Not only did we hire Dane, but he is an extremely talented engineer. He now works out of our Whistler office with the mountains as a backdrop and continues to be a valued asset. Another example is conferences. Education and bettering ourselves is one of our core values. We try to attend conferences where we will learn new things, connect with the right people and expand our business. We have taken our team to Singapore for Echelon, Jakarta for Startup Asia, Portland for the Rails Comp, San Francisco for Warm Gun, Seattle for Startup Riot, Montreal for the Startup Festival and many more. Not only do we learn, but we have closed investors at these types of events. Travel is another big piece of an adventure engineer's life. Engineers are today's rock stars and can choose to work from any location in the world. We work to facilitate that. Our engineers can work in our Manila office or our Whistler office. Take long weekends to Vietnam, Cambodia, Vegas, or wherever. From either office, there are great parts of the world within very short flights. Last year, we did our employee retreat in Vietnam. We visited Ho Chi Minh City, went to the Coochie Tunnels, saw the Monkey Island, fed crocodiles in a crocodile farm, took jungle boats to see where the Vietnamese base was during the war, and even did a foodie tour by scooter in Saigon's busy downtown core. We brought photographer Chris Krug along with us so that he could document the trip for us. Plus, we do team building events. Recently, we took the teams in Manila and Whistler to the driving range to hit a few balls. Or, we've done zip lining, mountain biking, or even competed in a few running races. Our work hard, play hard environment works because of our flex schedules. We follow the scrum mentality. We work within two week sprints and push our team to move the platform ahead each and every day. If the snow comes down in Whistler and an engineer wants to hit the slopes, that's okay as long as there are no tasks that others need them for. It is common for an engineer to push their start time for the day by a couple of hours and head out to the mountain. So, if you're up for an adventure and looking for a company that's tackling a big problem, then reach out to us as we are looking for hardworking, talented adventure engineers.